Hello friends, family, brothers and sisters. It's Happy Fatwood Bacon Burn Friday. We got some very high humidity. It's been raining very hot. I want to show y'all my shirt. Isn't that cool? I don't think there's nothing on that sleeve. That one's on that sleeve. And of course my Hashtag 22 a day. 22 vets every day take their life. One's too many. I'm trying to get the awareness out there. Got my 22 a day bracelets on. Strong attention for sure. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I got a mail call, a surprise mail call, y'all. From Miss Cat in the North. She sent me some. Well, first, let me read my letter. I got some main fat wood and birch bark that was harvested in Catna North in her husband's backyard. And yes, you're right. In fact, we were just talking about that last night. We got a photo shoot to do, not, not this weekend, but next weekend. But she sent me can y'all see it? Let me see if I make it do it. See the frown? Turn it upside down. And it's got John 316 saying on the back. Isn't that cool? So that's going on my sticker board. Okay. <clears throat> but she sent me some birch bark from Maine. Right here. I don't know if it's the birch bark. Or if it's the fat wood. Look at that, y'all. Isn't that pretty? It's amazing to me how much fat wood, the smell from different places. It almost has like a perfumey smell. It smells good, though. That's some good stuff, y'all. Cat in the North, I appreciate that. That's awesome. I ain't had no, I hadn't had no fat wood for me. I'm gonna have to do like Dominic. I'm gonna have to save me a little piece from everywhere and make me a little board or something put it on. But I've already cut some up. And uh, not to change the subject, y'all. At my mom's house, we've been having these huge. Can y'all see it? Let me see if I can find a way to pick it up to show y'all. Definitely don't. Can y'all see it? Can y'all tell me what kind of wasp this sucker is that's over an inch long and they're burrowing down in the ground. They'll fly around and they'll go down in these holes in the ground. They're making like little sand piles all over the yard and then they burrow down into the, but they're bigger than yellow jackets and it's not a normal wasp. So I don't know if y'all can tell me what this might be. That would be great news. But yeah, that's something to be scared of right there. Especially if you like me and a virgin. But um But yes, I got some nice fat wood from Maine. I was gonna see if I could show y'all that one spot that I seen. Can y'all see it? Where it's real shiny? Right down here. Look at that. It's pure resin. And it's sticky. Oh it's sticky. This is sticky as the Mississippi icky sticky. I've already cut some up. Put a little bit of Georgia fishing and trapping in there too, and a little bit of South Carolina from Mr. Tommy. Over for open air fish market. Y'all, this stuff is awesome. Got my bushcraft more from Timbo437. I think he's trying to get his count up, his channel count up again too. I'm not sure if he's doing a giveaway, but I know Timbo437 trying to get his. Pretty sure it's 10 by 437, trying to get us down a little bit higher. I'll have to go back and watch. That is, that's some awesome bacon. That's some serious bacon right there, y'all. Oh yeah, and I got some of the Christmas spruce mixed in with it too. From Redneck Renegade. But, um, y'all, I act like I'm lost for words again. 
I'm still bomb founded. <laughs> just gonna get my camera come up a little bit. But uh but yeah, as of far as I know right now, we are gonna get to open the haunt this year. But like I say, not this weekend, but next weekend I gotta go do a photo shoot at the haunt. <coughs> and um uh, I'm excited. I am. I'm excited. And we'll have to see how it goes. We have to wait for the uh, fire marshal to go through and, um, no, look at there. I got a rat tail sticking up. Um, we have to wait for the fire marshal to go in and inspect, make sure everything is, you know, fire retardant and nothing, nothing to burn. And then we have to get the okay from the city manager. And I'm sure it's going to be like last year, social distancing and everybody has to wear a mask. <laughs> that's fun. Wearing a mask under a mask is, is hot. But, um, but yeah, y'all know y'all get to see some sneak peeks, so y'all don't be surprised when this starts changing and turns purple. So I'm past due on getting it done, actually. But, uh, yeah, I do purple not just for the hunt. I do it for other reasons because it represents different illnesses and stuff. And, Alzheimer's, and I have a I have a close friend that her mom has Alzheimer's, so I understand where, and I well, I had I had a cousin too that, that had it, so I'm very familiar with Alzheimer's. So I do it for different reasons. Purple's my favorite color, and life's just too short not to have crazy hair. I mean, like our sister Donna says, go out and have a shower in the shower. You know, gotta live a little. You know, so. But anyway, y'all, we're going we gonna to fire up our fat with bacon burger on Friday, me and Mr. Bill Milton. And my prayers are still going for everybody, as always. My prayer train don't never stop. And um, anybody that's under a fire ban that can't make a fire, got you covered. Um, trying to think. Of course, you know, y'all remember our first responders. And of all branches from everywhere from military to EMS, nurses, doctors, police, firefighters, the whole nine yards, everybody. And just everybody in general, you know. See, look, I mentioned Brother Bill, and y'all listen. I'm telling y'all, he's not physically here, but he lets us know every time. He knows. But, um, but yeah, y'all, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of fumbling for words, but uh, we're gonna fire it up gonna fire up this bacon we're gonna try to anyway see how it works because it's humid out here it shouldn't be a problem not with that wood but One and done. Let's look at that bacon.
pop back around, y'all. I'm gonna get my tripod right. I tighten it and then it, and it's hard to sometimes get it to adjust up and down. I fired that up too with my Nathan 4071 El Quattro and the handle's made by Redneck Renegade. Um, but yeah, the um, solar, I can't really do a solar fire today. It's real cloudy and everything, but I like doing the solar fires too, doing the punk wood and stuff like that. Plus, it's been a little bit easier on my elbow at the same time. It's getting there, y'all. The elbow deal is off and on, but I still got my thing on there to support it some, so. But yeah, and I update on my kitty cat Phoenix. Me and him's going back to the vet today. He's going to get his final shot, which is his rabies shot. And then he'll be set for a little while. And, uh, but yeah, he's doing good. My battle wounds that he's doing, I've been trying to break him of it. But he, he plays is what it is. He's playing and he gets, he'll bite real gentle. Then he gets, then he'll clamp down. He'll start doing kangaroo feet in the back. He's a trip. He's a good little kitty. He really is. He's just got all that playful energy in him, you know. But I'm working on him. I'm working on stopping him, but it's healing good. I'm putting Neosporin on him. But, you know, can't have a cat not have some kind of battle wounds, I suppose. I love this knife. I do. I love all my moors. I'll have to bring my knives out one day and show y'all my knives my moors and my two custom knives I got from Kevin Outdoors 1978 and I got me a fat wood knife that was custom made for me by um, Eddie over at Backyard Custom Knives and um, of course my moors and my what is it CRKT pillar that I got from Scab I keep that on my everyday carry I got a like a pouch thing I carry and I carry that in it at all times. And, oh, I've been keeping this on my side. So, but yeah, you know, I'm just outside in the yard right now, but if I go anywhere, I, I take more with me just to be on the safe side. But uh, I know I'm dragging it out, y'all. I'm sorry. But uh, Kat, I appreciate the fatwood and the birch bark. I really do um you know it's like anything like like we've all said you know when something's made for you and it's been custom made for you that's just awesome I mean it means the world to me not only because I was gifted it or whatever but it's the fact that the person that made it you know they put love in it to make it you know and I absolutely adore that I do I really do and um but yeah it means the world to me. I mean, that's something that is priceless, you know. It's not priceless. It's worth, it's worth more, but it, I think y'all understand what I'm trying to say. It's priceless. It's a one-of-a-kind, you know. It was made for you by somebody, and it does. It means the world to me. That's like all my fair rods that's got handles and all. They were made by either Nathan or Redneck Renegade, and they mean the world to me. In fact, I need to bring my Georgia Bulldog set out, y'all. I hadn't used them yet. I had Redneck make me a set with the acrylic handles in the red, black, and white for the Georgia Bulldog colors. I didn't realize that at the college, y'all, I should know this, as big of a fan as I am, but I've been busy. But um, my Georgia Bulldogs has been playing, and they've been doing really good. So I need to bring that set out, you know, for, for the college football season. You know, so. The one that I showed y'all on the handle, where the red, black, and all is, it's almost like one of them. It's got a little spooky face right there. So I need to bring those out. So, But yeah, I just want to jump on here, y'all. I know I'm dragging it out. I always do. I just want to jump on here and tell y'all I appreciate y'all. I really do appreciate all my prayers for me. Um, well, somebody's making extra loud noise behind us over there somewhere. But anyway, y'all, I ain't going to drag it out no more. I love y'all. Tell somebody you love them because we're not promised more. We're not promised five minutes from now. Don't have no regrets until my next one. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. And I love y'all and I'll catch you then. Thank you.